Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. Let me back up because I'm way in the front. So today I'm going to be talking all about my hair because I've gotten requests on Instagram and I also asked if you guys would like to see a hair video. So I am going to make one. So if you are interested in watching or interested in how I maintain my hair, then keep watching. Okay, so first of all, I thought I was going to make like a hair routine video but I basically, when I hop in the shower, I basically just shampoo, condition, and then let my hair air dry. So showing you guys a video of like my hair routine was would be really boring. So I'm just going to show you guys or share what products that I use to keep my hair from not looking brassy or keep it from looking healthy. Um... So the first thing that I do is I use purple shampoo. So right now I'm trying out this bedhead um, dumb blonde because it does say dumb blonde. What the heck? Okay. So anyways, I did recently dye my hair blonde. Like all well, the back is not blonde, but mostly on the front I added some highlights actually uh, my boyfriend's sister did it for me so she did like a really good job so that is why I am now using uh, purple shampoo so I'm using this bedhead um, dumb blonde I actually got this at Marshall's for like $6.99 it says that it's $12 but I get everything from Marshall's because I'm addicted to Marshall's so I got this for $6.99 um, but before that I was basically using the Joico purple shampoo so this isn't it but it's basically this brand Joico and I was using their purple shampoo and I really really love their purple shampoo I think it's like one of the best purple shampoos that you should get like if you're trying to keep your hair from being brassy um, and I, I also I don't know and I also use this Joico um, conditioner and shampoo and this is I'm showing you guys this one because I didn't really like the filling of conditioner because when I take a shower I don't know if this makes sense but when I put my conditioner on like I want it to be super like moist and like wet like I feel I want my hair to seem um, slimy like I know a lot of people they don't like when their conditioner like makes their hair like super super silky in the shower but I love that like for my hair since I have a lot of hair like I literally have such thick hair like even when I put my hair in a ponytail like this is my hair in a ponytail like it's just so much hair so I need a really moisture like I need a shampoo that or I need a conditioner that has tons of moisture in my hair and even though this is for repair damage like if you listen to it it's really the formula is really thin and I like you know having something more more like thick formula um, where I don't know I can't like god I'm so bad at explaining things but I hope you guys are like understanding what I'm talking about because this formula is like like really like watery that's what I mean okay so this is like really really watery and the other Joico um, like the blue one the blue one of this I forgot what it's called but the blue one of the Joico conditioner I love 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 that one and the red one the one for specifically for color and it has like a purple dye like I love that and I'm so sorry that I don't have the actual bottle for that um, because I threw them away on accident but I also use this shiny hair shampoo and this one I believe I got at Sally's and it says that eliminates yellow and white and gray hair but honestly I felt like I used the whole thing and it didn't do anything to my hair or I didn't feel that it brined up the color of my blonde so I'm not going to buy this again. I'm not going to repurchase this. Um, I also don't... Um, I also don't shampoo my hair every day. I don't wash my hair every day. I know that sounds like so gross. But I like to have dirty hair. 
so when I start getting oily hair, I use dry shampoo. So I recently bought a lot of dry shampoos and these are all empty. And yeah, this is how you know that I go through dry shampoo a lot just because I don't like to wash my hair every single day. Especially because it takes forever to dry. Like if you guys know of a good blow dryer, like please let me know because it takes forever ever to dry my hair like I will literally take a shower let it air dry the whole day and at the end of the day my hair right here like in my root or in my scalp like in the back it would still be wet at the end of the day even at night when I take a shower at night and I let it air dry like I go to sleep with my hair like a little bit moist I wake up and my hair is still moist like, I don't get it. Thick hair problems, really, though. And it takes me, like, an hour to blow dry my hair. So that's why I don't like to wash every day because I get lazy. So the first one is the Chi Dry Shampoo. And I actually bought these at Marshall's again. Um, ooh, it's cheaper at TJ Maxx. Okay, so I paid $3 for this and supposedly it's like $8 for this little ass dry shampoo. And then I paid $4 for this one at Marshalls. So TJ Maxx is like a dollar cheaper, I guess, um, than that. And they're the same size. So I really, really, really liked this dry shampoo by Chi. That's why I repurchased it. Um, I thought that it left my hair non-oily and it didn't give me any like white residue um, and it, I didn't have to put a lot. It lasted like a long time. I probably still have some right now. Oh, I do. So I like, I still, I still lasted a long time and I basically just put it on my roots because this is the way that I part my hair. I part my hair in the middle. So then I'll just add it to my roots and then push them up. And it gives me so much volume, like even right now, you guys are seeing that it's like, it just gives me so much volume. My hair already has volume, so I don't need to add that much volume to it. But literally, I'll just go like this and then push my hair up. And then it gives me so much more volume. And I'll do that in the middle too. Because I don't use hairspray on my hair, that's another thing. When I curl my hair, I don't use hairspray um, because I feel like it weighs my hair down when I put it on and then it makes it like all hard and I love to run my fingers through my hair. So if I have hairspray, like it'll get stuck. So that's another thing. Um, this one I also purchased at Marshalls for $6.99 and this one smells so freaking good. Like I love the way that this dry shampoo I just bought it like a week ago but I love the way that it smells and it adds a lot of volume and texture to my hair as well and honestly the smell just give it away it smelled like roses oh I love the smell like of this even my mom she was like laying down in my bed and I put some on she's like oh my god that smells so good I'm like yeah right it does so the next one that I got from the drugstore this is the Herbal Essence um, dry shampoo and you can get this at Target but honestly this one I didn't really like as much um, because I had to use so much and I felt like it wasn't absorbing the oil in my hair even the next day like because I usually I wash my hair one day and then the next day like I'll put on the dry shampoo um, but even then like I still felt like it wasn't absorbing and I didn't even have that much oil in my hair so I felt like it wasn't observing that one. Um, and the next one is Suave Dry Shampoo. This one was like, okay, I don't know if I'll repurchase it again because I honestly love this one. And I forgot to tell you guys what the name of this one was, but this was a Orlando Pita. And I'll have everything down in the description box below. Shampoo, it was like, I didn't really, really love it, but I didn't hate it either because can catch what I'm saying, but I did observe, um, observe, of absorb. Oh my god, I can't say that word. Observe. I feel, it's, yeah, it feels like I'm saying observe, like, but it's absorbs, absorbs. I feel like it did absorb my oil, 
but I didn't love it or hate it. So that one's out. And then I, the next one is the Tresemme Dry Shampoo. And I also loved how this one smelt as well. And it is for dry or brittle hair. So I, oops. So I did like that um, when your hair is dry, like it kind of makes it a bit moist. And it does have vitamins B12, um, in it which is really really good for your hair so I really really loved this um, dry shampoo and I love the price of it too because it wasn't that expensive but I think right now my favorite two dry shampoos would have to be this one and then the god I keep dropping them and then the chi um, the Chi dry shampoo. So these are my top dry shampoos that I use and my last product is this Chi Keratin Mist and I also got this at Marshalls for like 10 bucks. Um, it says that it's like $20 but I got it for 10 bucks. So this is really really good when I'm straightening my hair. It's like a leave-in spray or even when I get out the shower I just Put it on because my hair I usually don't um, straighten my hair ever um, I usually just stick to curls so I this one you just basically spray on and then I just add like a little bit of bounce or I just go like this to it and then it's supposed to add some let me see let me raise it's supposed to provide your hair with strength protection and softness while leaving it silky and shiny. So it does leave your hair silky, like if your hair is pretty dry, it does leave it silky. Um, it smells really good as well. So this is a good like leave-in straightening treatment. So you put it on before, like after you shower, and then after like if you're really, excuse me, if you're really big on straightening your hair, then I would recommend that you guys buy this. But other than that, I basically only use Joico shampoo. Um, I've tried other like drugstore shampoos, but honestly, I love my hair and I want it to be really, really healthy. So I invest in buying good products, like good shampoos. Um, and I really love the Joico brand because I think that that's one of like the best shampoos for colored hair. Um, if you guys have any other shampoos that you would want me to try for colored hair or you know just to give um like good moisture in the hair please let me know but other than that i just use the uh, joico and i use a lot of purple shampoos to keep my hair from becoming brassy and staying healthy and like popping out because when you have blonde hair like it does require you to maintain your hair even more and also i don't like to do my hair every single day i don't like to apply heat on it so what I'll do is I'll just let it air dry and then I'll put it in a braid and then the next day like my hair will be wavy and it'll look like I did my hair even though I didn't just because I don't like to add heat or you know blow dry my hair because since it does take an hour to blow dry um, I don't want to apply that much heat to it and I don't want it to becoming more dry because literally I dyed my hair like five or six different times just this year trying to get the perfect color but now I think I did get the perfect color and then let me know what you guys think about my hair down below and then also I did announce my giveaway and it is going to my Thes. so congrats to her for winning and then stay tuned for next month because I have another surprise another giveaway for you guys and I'm sorry for being MIA yeah it's been like a rough 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 patch these past couple of weeks since my last video you know i've gone through so much but here i am i'm back and i have this beautiful hair routine so yeah don't forget to follow me on my social media at sandybaby16 i post a lot of makeup pictures and giveaway pictures and you know just whatever comes to my little heart that day so you guys will be updated with all the new new and also on my snapchat at sandybaby16 and i will see you guys in my next video don't forget to subscribe down below in the little 
like all you have to do is basically pick a little um corner thing a little um just hit that little button i forget where it's at one of these little corners there's like a little button so just go ahead and hit that and then you guys will be subscribed to my channel and then i hope to see you soon in my next video bye